The Charolais lies in southern Burgundy in the heart of France. It's home to the world famous Charolais cattle. The grass on the meadows is so nutrient rich that the animals need nothing else to fatten them up. The region is also famous for its Roman architecture. Even the churches reflect the deep rooted culinary tradition. This is where the Charolais goat's cheese is made and tasty treats like the pralinettes and escargot. Henri breeds Charolais cattle, well known for their flavor and tender texture. The meadows offer the perfect grazing conditions for the animals. Knowing the best meadows for grazing is part of being a traditional farmer here. The animals aren't really used to people, but they do recognize Henri's red car instantly. It's how he herds the cattle from one field to the next. Not that they always know where to go. It's a good thing Florence and Laurent are there to help. It's late afternoon and Florence is herding the goats into the stall so they can be milked. Charolais, so famous for its cattle, borders the Beaujolais region, which is equally renowned for its wine. Here, Henri sells his cheese to the wine growers. Wednesday is market day in Saint Christophe. It's the region's largest town. This is where cattle has been sold for the last 500 years and is one of the oldest cattle markets in France. In the market hall are the breeders and the earliest buyers of the day. Laurent is the only woman. The wholesalers, traditionally dressed in black overcoats, are called chevillards. Whilst they're assessing the goods, Henri tells Laurent what to look out for when purchasing cattle. He's been doing this for years and won't let his animals go for a centime less than they're worth. Pays d'Orge lies to the west of Paris. Farming is the lay of the land here. Dairy products are such an integral part of the region that even the towns carry the names of famous cheeses. In the Pays d'Orge, nothing comes above food. Here, apples grow in abundance and are used to make delicacies like sparkling apple wine, cider, and calvados, a strong brandy. Jacqueline has regular customers to whom she delivers the cider in the area both restaurants and private homes. Her most loyal customer lives in Saint-Julien-le-Faucon, a small village nearby. Michel Hazard has been running his restaurant for many years. It's adorned with unusual instruments. <laughs> Et ça, c'était dans les maisons, non C'était dans les bistrots, les guinguettes, mais aussi dans les maisons closes. In the morning, 
Michel herds the 80 cows from the meadow into the barn. Some are happy to be led along, others need a little more encouragement. Daily rituals. The cows are milked twice a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. A group of children, mothers and teachers are visiting the farm. It was Jacqueline's idea to open the farm to youngsters from the city so that they could gain an impression of the working life in the country. Now the Juliennes have a little petting zoo and there's even a llama. <laughs> These tours only bring a little money in on the side, but for the children it's a great adventure and a healthy one. They get out of the city apartments into the fresh country air. It's market day in Lisieux, the regional capital of the Pays d'Auge. Traders come from all over the region with their goods. Les Landes, an area in French Gascogne, a soft and hilly landscape and home to the Chalosse cattle. The local ducks are very popular as coffee and in regional dishes such as garbure, a hearty stew. Here, duck fat is a common replacement for butter and oil. Annie Larbert cooks for her family in a traditional way. The old fishing village Peyrohad lies 50 kilometers inwards from the Atlantic Ocean. Sweet water fish was already sold at this market in the 14th century, salmon that is caught and smoked locally. Caroline's sister Stéphanie and her mother are doing the shopping for the weekend. Very thin. I don't like it when it's too thick. Ah, neither do I. <laughs> Merci. Mm, very good. The market is well known for its popular pigs' trotters, already available for breakfast at 7 a.m. There's also a second, less obvious regional delicacy. The famous kiwi known as Little Man, try it. Why Little Man? Because this kiwi is a little smaller and hairy. In the southwest of France, each village has its own bullfighting arena where acrobatic and non-violent shows are celebrated. Caroline is the only female fighter in the sport. To overcome your fear, stand opposite the cow and know your limits. That's it. The non-violent bullfighting of Gascogne, known as Course Landaise, does not involve bulls, but specially bred cows from Spain. Samadé has one of the largest Course Landaise arenas. Here, the competitions go on for three days. Every day, a new team can show off its talents. At the end, a jury decides the winner. Ah, you look wonderful, my sweet. I hope I stay that way. <laughs> Caroline's team colors are yellow and black. There are two types of fighters in Course Landaise, the acrobatic sauteur or the écarteur like Caroline, who sidestep at the very last moment, which is especially dangerous. For 
Colleen, these are the first steps into the world of the best fighters in Cours Londes.